A wise man once said, leadership is an active living process, rooted in character, forged by experience, and communicated by example. The students and teachers of Bartlesville Public Schools are fortunate to have such a leader in Chuck McCauley, their superintendent. When Chuck took the helm in 2016, the district was in a dire budget crisis and teacher morale was suffering. In his first 100 days, Chuck engaged key stakeholders, including students and teachers, to help build a strategic plan. Inspired by their input, the district implemented several new programs, including a K-12 STEM curriculum, a student computing initiative, and the district's first agriculture program. In his first three years, Chuck rallied the community to pass two bond issues, including one that saved teaching positions. To promote healthy lifestyles, he launched the BPS Wellness Challenge, where school sites compete against each other for the highest participation in an 8K race. During Oklahoma's education funding crisis in 2018, Chuck played a leading role in encouraging fellow superintendents to suspend school so teachers and families could make their case at the state capitol. His advocacy helped pave the way for a historic bipartisan funding increase for teacher pay. What I did at that time was I sent a survey to superintendents across the state and said, listen, uh, Bartlesville is ready to um, suspend classes if necessary if they're not going to be an investment in our schools to help with this teacher shortage. He literally took the flag for public education and took it and charged at the top of the hill and planted it. And quite fr frankly, at the end of the day, we won that particular initiative and it was a great step forward for public education. You know, he doesn't want teachers to leave Bartlesville. He wants people to come to Bartlesville because we are the place that they want to come work. And he has, he has totally set the tone for not only are we a great place to work, we're a great place to raise a family in and out of the school system. So the servant leadership that he models is outstanding. This is all so genuine. What you guys are seeing right now is just genuine Chuck. He's not putting on a show for, for anyone. This is, this is who he is. Mr. McCauley is very accessible. Um, when he's walking around the halls, he's not just walking around the halls to his next destination. He's saying hi to students, asking how their day is going. I just think by modeling his leadership skills and his uh, the integrity that he has in regards to we want to do, have the best and the brightest and do the right things for our kids and our teachers and I think that automatically lifts morale. He's always encouraged his faculty and staff to get outside and enjoy the, the outdoors and just take some time for yourself. Let's get healthy, let's stay healthy. Chuck will model wellness and talk about his experiences with running and that modeling has made a real difference with his sponsorship of the 8K Willow Rock program. Uh, that, that's probably one of the, uh, something I'm most proud of in terms of that. Uh, people, one, taking that time to invest in themselves, to take care of themselves, and obviously modeling that healthy lifestyle and having those conversations with the kids about the, because this is something that's going to carry with them the rest of their lives. Please welcome the recipient of the Oklahoma Medal for Excellence in Public School Administration, the superintendent of Bartlesville Public Schools, Chuck McCauley. Thank you, and thanks to all those who had a part in today's event. I would also I'd like to thank my beautiful wife of 29 years and 8th grade math teacher extraordinaire, Jennifer. It is truly humbling to receive what I believe is the most prestigious award in public education. I am fortunate to have the opportunity to serve the students, staff, and community of Bartlesville. What I've learned is that when there is a void in leadership, that void gets filled up with something. Think about that for a minute. Many times the filling, the filling of a void is not positive. Here are some leadership challenges we have faced over the last few years. In 2016, 
our district was in its worst fiscal condition in over 20 years, which we worked through by making difficult personnel reductions as far from the classroom as possible. In 2018, teacher salaries were dead last in the region, which for Bartlesville meant we lost six teachers to the state of Kansas. Bartlesville stepped up to fill that void with a plan that led to the largest investment in public education in state history before the teacher walkout. Leadership was then also needed to end the walkout several days later. And now, in the midst of what is hopefully a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic, which almost daily there, we experience issues that there are no easy answers. What I always come back to when facing a leadership challenge is to do these things. Take the time to listen. It can be difficult, especially in today's social media world. As you listen, be a light, not a judge. Show the discernment to do what makes sense. Be humble enough to know that you can be wrong. And when you are, be wise enough to apologize and do your best to make things right. In closing, I would like to thank the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence for continuing to invest in public education. Thank you.